Okay, so for the next meal, I order food. If it looks like I've been crying, I have been. It's been a day. Twinkie. Baby girl, it's just me. She thinks she's a, she thinks she's a guard dog. It's so weird. This is supposed to like automatically not be blurry. We got from this place called BJ's. It's so good, it has like the best salmon ever. Nine times out of 10, that is what I get from there. My girlfriend got ribs. Oh my God, their ribs are so good. Their root beer ribs. Oh, that smells amazing. Babe, the food's here. And then I get their salmon. It comes with rice it's just salmon and rice but I really like their mashed potatoes so I also get some of their mash their mashed taters I know it looks like I've been crying because I have so yes I'm eating in my room and um, if I look like I've been crying it's because I have I don't really want to get into it but I got some very bad news today so let's not talk about that take my mind off of it with some dumplings so Twinkie's drinking water right now so if you hear that all right let's take a bite mm. this is really good if it looks like I've been crying it's because I have um, it is Mother's Day I am so just emotionally um, broken today. I I don't want to go into you know details why. I'm sure you guys can probably process why. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of emotional eating, and I already know it's gonna happen because I have some food in front of me. So I kind of want to make this video to show you guys how it is for me on a day where I just do not care. I want to eat all my feelings. I want to binge. I feel possessed for the whole day. Like I don't care. Like I'm not myself. Kind of like I'm on the outside watching myself. And I just wanted to show you guys kind of what that looks like for me. And it's unfortunate. And this is kind of just what it is. So this is a what I ate today binge. I don't know what to call this. So. I'm gonna show you guys the first thing I'm gonna eat. So I ordered Mexican food. Here are the chips, Mexican rice, and we have some tamales. Honestly, this looks freaking delicious. So I am super pumped and I'm gonna watch a TV show while I eat this and numb all my feelings. So here I go. Sorry if it looks like I've been crying, it's because I have. Next thing I'm having is a whole box of the pasta roni. It is an angel hair pasta with herbs. Good flavor. It is a whole bowl, literally. A whole bowl. And right now, this is more so like an emotional eating moment because I'm frustrated because of the, the video I just had to film frustrated me. And let's see, is food gonna make me feel better? It is, realistically, it is. Mm, I already feel better. And that's emotional eating for you. That's why it looks like I've been crying, my eyes are red. I'm just kind of going through something right now. And I don't know, like eventually I'll talk about it, but I just don't really, I don't know, I don't seem very chipper and like motivated to vlog, but I still wanted to get a vlog mess up for today. So this is my dinner. It's a huge Fiesta burger with cheese. Um, this is like their homemade like tortillas, mayo, jalapeno. My day has sucked. So... Let's make my meal unhealthy. Probably a bad idea, but you know. So when I got the bad news, I just cried in bed for a while. When I stopped crying in bed, I, I 
kind of came to and I was like, I want Taco Bell. It was like this possessive thing inside of me. Like there was no like stopping it. I'm not gonna really get into the binge monster. People don't understand that. So I'm just not gonna go there right now. But I ended up having Taco Bell and I had quite a bit of Taco Bell. Also like this like freeze slushy thing and in my head, I kept saying, well, I did really good at the beginning of the day, so I'm going to weigh in and everything's still going to be fine. Nope, I weighed in and I gained weight. I did not record it because I thought I was actually going to be losing weight, and I wanted to record probably in a few days of me losing a big chunk and show you guys. I wasn't just going to show you guys every day, so I didn't record it, and now I'm just like kind of like appalled and mad i'm emotionally drained and i'm just oh my god what if it looks like i've been crying that's what i've been doing so first meal i am having a good old cup of noodle for the day that i actually made my last weigh-in video i think it was like the day after i don't know i found out some really 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 bad news um I don't even want to talk about it. I'm going to start crying and I think I've cried enough. Um, I just, I guess I didn't know how to handle it and um, it got the best of me. The news won as it always does. Um, it's something I've dealt with my whole life and um, I guess I just, I'm, I'm not used to it. You think that things like that I'm used to, but no, I actually feel like it just gets worse and worse. Um, I ask myself, when will this end? I don't think it ever will. So when I got the bad news, I, I turned to food and I kind of lost reality and I, it's just sad. Um, I've been off track for quite a few days. I haven't weighed myself and I'm probably not going to. I actually was doing really well. I didn't go into my weekly at all. But then I called my brother and I haven't talked to him on the phone in four years. And it was really hard for me. The phone call went really well, but I got insanely bad news on the phone call. It was, it was hard for me to handle. I tried my hardest being, you know, a big sister and... I tried my hardest not to show him that I was crying, but he heard me cry when he told me not to cry. Like it, I, I tried to be strong for him because he's in a really tough spot right now, and it literally like brings tears to my eyes right now. I miss him with all my heart. Um, aside from like the bad newses, it was a great phone call, you guys, and I was so happy to hear from him and talk to him, and I miss him with all of my freaking heart. But once we hung up. I was hysterical. I could not stop crying. I was bawling, like bawling my eyes out. Even now you can tell my eyes are very swollen. I could not stop crying and Destiny was right by my side the whole freaking time. She was holding me and just letting me talk to her and express to her how I was feeling and it was really bad. And I gave into my emotions and I over eight. I logged everything, but I sat here and I ate more candy. I had some pasta. That's not, <laughs> I can't keep turning to food. I'm dead. Um, if it looks like I've been crying, it's because I have. That's on that. Go to the horse, the bean bags, and her.